pretty, so I'm not 100% sure <clears throat> what happened, what you saw, what you didn't see. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another day in the daily life of Jay. January 8th, 2020, and it is now 5.07 in the p.m., and I'm just leaving work, and I was just doing this whole spiel about how proud I am of myself for getting so much work done, and I realized that the camera had shut off. I don't know what that's all about, um, but I was able to get a lot of work done today and got a head start on tomorrow's work, which I'm really very excited about. Um, because that means that I'll get to work on uh, filing, which I desperately need to do. Um, but I won't feel pressed to do anything major when I leave because um, I have an eye appointment tomorrow. And I um, will have to leave early to get to that eye appointment. I don't know if I've mentioned in a previous video, but when I went to the eye doctor a couple of weeks ago, she was concerned about um, glaucoma, and so she wants me to see an ophthalmologist. Yeah, an ophthalmologist, um, so that I can, so that they can look and see if they see anything, um, and um, we go from there. That appointment is tomorrow, so pray my strength, pray that all is well. I will say that I have noticed that my vision is not um, great. Uh, it is, it has worsened since the last time that I had an eye appointment. And um, I've noticed even more so that um, not just looking at words is blurry. I could be looking at an object close up, a small object close up, and it's blurry. Um, like for instance, today I was trying to uh, cut a zip tie from some wires, a phone cord and a computer cord, because I needed to test a phone in another room, and the phone that I was trying to test and I needed to move to another office so that I could test it, but there was no cord in there so I needed to take the cord with and the cord was zip tied to the ethernet cord. So I'm trying to cut this cord and having a very difficult time uh, seeing clearly the zip tie. Now I could see the zip tie, but you know the details, the ridges, I could not see those uh, without my glasses. So I had to put my glasses on. Uh, now, the thing is, before my eyesight changed from last year, I would still have been able to, before it worsened, I still would have been able to see the ridges in the zip tie. But clearly something has happened because I'm not seeing small objects clearly. Uh, so, I'm not surprised by her concern. And then in addition to that, I've had this left eye several times um, be red, especially in the corner um, for I don't know what reason. Um, so I am, and I forgot to mention that to her, but I'm glad that she's sending me to a specialist anyway, because I will mention that to the specialist. Um, but yeah, for whatever strange reason, I, my eye would get and it's just the left eye it would be red and I did at one point think maybe it was because I needed a root canal and um, the, the root was infected and I know that I mentioned this in previous videos that I had a, a, a tooth that was infected in the root and I need to have a root canal but before I could get the root canal they had to give me antibiotics to clear up the infection so I initially chalked it up to that because you know all of that is connected in here. So I had initially chalked it up to that, 
but after finishing the antibiotics, two rounds of the antibiotics, as a matter of fact, um, I noticed at least one other time that the eye was red, and especially in the corner. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on, but again, I, you know, I would ask that those who pray and pray fervently, uh, that you pray that my eye is uh, fixable easily and inexpensively fixable. So we shall see what comes of that. We shall see. And um, so what else is going on? Um, I talked to my therapist today. I like talking to my therapist. She's a very down to earth person. Um, very easy to, all right, speeding car. Very easy to communicate with. Um, so I had a therapy session and for, look, I know <clears throat> being in the profession that I'm in outside of my regular job, um, you would expect for me to say get a coach or to get a therapist um, because that it's what I do. But I wholeheartedly believe, even before I started doing this professionally, I wholeheartedly believe that everyone can benefit from a therapist, whether you believe you have something wrong with you or you believe that you need to talk with someone or not. Everyone should have a therapist because you just never know what the underlying root of a thing could be. So I enjoyed talking with her today, giving her an update after the holidays because we haven't spoken since before Christmas. Um, <clears throat> so I had to give her the update and she was actually very excited about my progress as well and all the things that I have going on. And it's funny because I told her everything that I do have going on. Um, the new church, the, um, the, the two classes that I'm taking for certification for new levels of certification. Um, one of which I'm still offering a discount on my coaching services so that I can finish up a part of uh, the first part of that course. Um, the second course really doesn't require that I do this, but the, but the first course does. Um, I'm sorry, the first course does not require that I do it because I started taking it first. The second course does require that I do it. So I'm offering a huge discount on my website or a huge discount on my coaching services. If you're interested or know anyone that is interested, you can schedule a discovery call with me at jatonrobinson.com. You surely can and um, there is a discount code that you must use so what I will do is I will um, link that below so that you get the discount code um, and it's only up for a little while longer because um, I need to or maybe I'll extend it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I don't know if I'm going to extend it or if I'm going to go ahead and let it end. Um, but anyway, uh, talking with her today and, and telling her everything that's going on. And when I finished telling her, I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, you got a lot of stuff going on, even though you're taking a break. And as I'm thinking this, she says, geez, you got a lot of stuff going on. And I said, yeah. And this, the crazy thing is I usually do. I usually do. And that's why I called myself taking a break. Um, because I usually do have a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I, I took a break with the church that we're, with, that we've joined, we're doing a fast. So I'm taking a break from social media, which is why prayerfully you're seeing this shortly after the fast. Um, because this week is the week of the break, but for me, we're doing the fast, we're actually fasting with certain foods but we're also doing a social media fast so I am not on any social media platforms at the moment actively going through the platforms however um, I also additionally decided to take a break from um, editing anything and you know pulling anything together actually doing work on my own so this week is the week of the break 
and then next week I'll get back into going through the videos editing them and getting them uploaded so hopefully you're seeing this not too far after the fast ends hopefully you're seeing this um, the first week of February is when you're saying this hopefully um, if I've done what I what I'm supposed to do but anyway all of that to say I took the break so that I could rest but then I realized I still have so many other things to do so yeah um, but I'm okay I feel like I feel like I'm taking a break I actually do because when I get home which I'm home now I'm gonna get upstairs um, I am not running to the computer to get on the computer after my 30 minute initial break I'm not getting on the computer to do anything I'm actually relaxing uh, and enjoying making these new meals that I'd never uh, had tried before with vegetarian foods um, so yeah, I'm really excited. And that's another thing that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I am documenting some of the foods that I'm eating while we're on this fast. And hopefully you've seen the videos, but if you don't, I'll link them somewhere. Uh, if you haven't, I'll link them somewhere. Um, but my goal is to get those videos up before this video goes up. Um, but I'm documenting um, the things that I am making um, while I'm on this fast and I'm just, I'm like flabbergasted by all the recipes that there are, that are out there for vegetarian food. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm home. I'm gonna get upstairs, get the dog walked and uh, sit down for a minute before I get the rest of my evening started. So with that, peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.